really wish I could be there to help you, but somebody has a big call back today. Yes, I do. <laughs> Please promise me you're not gonna put me in anything that'll scare all the men away. What time's your audition? Ah, uh, let's see. It is at 2 p.m. today, which means I need to catch the 1230 bus. Well, someday you won't need to commute from Jersey. You'll be living on the Upper East Side. If you listen closely enough, I think you can hear my bank account laughing its head off. <laughs> But you're going in now, so early? Yeah, I'm opening this morning and closing tonight. That's a pretty long day. It's not so bad. <sighs> you sure you're gonna be warm enough? I gotta protect my voice. Break a leg. Thank you. Bye. Change my audition time. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm so late. This is a disaster. I'm so sorry. Let me let me help you. There's. Is there a person <laughs> under all this? <laughs> I really should get all these. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, I think that's, uh, I think that's most of them. Yeah, well, most is not good enough for my boss. <sighs> Holy Bows. Uh, Mrs. Berger. What, what, are you, what are you doing? Why, why aren't you opening the store? Uh, I was, I was on my way to the store, and I went to the distributor and picked up the ornaments like you asked me to do, and then I bumped into this guy. But it's after nine. Yeah, technically it's my fault, so you I can... You know what? I will open this door. Just, just, just hurry up. Okay, I will. I'm really sorry. She seems nice. Oh. Here. Ah, oh, so we, we should probably clean them off a little bit. I think nope. it's fine. Okay. I should really go. Okay. Like, right now. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Stay warm. Bye. 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 We will be open any minute, okay? I'm just gonna go unlock the door. One minute. Oh, I'm gonna have to count those. I'm sure there's some missing. I should take that out of your pay, but I won't. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. Hi, Jamal. Hey, Chloe. What's going on? She's not happy? Yeah, no, she's never happy. I was walking down the street, and a guy bumped into me, and then I dropped this whole basket of knit ornaments. Just a minor, everyday catastrophe. Good morning. Merry Christmas. I'm dashing through the snow on a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. Fun it is to laugh and sing, sleighing song tonight. Chloe, can I talk to you for a sec? It, yeah, um, could you, do you want to, yeah. Hi. Hi. What's wrong, Mrs. Berger? Are the ornaments okay? It's your singing. Uh, I mean, the customers seem to like it. Exactly. It's slowing everything down. We have people listening to you instead of shopping. I know that Broadway is your priority and not this job. I'm, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Mr. Davis next door said you were late opening three times last week. Now, would you be late for an audition? It's just that guy this morning and the ornaments and the distributor. Chloe, Chloe. It was a lot. I don't need excuses. I just need you to be on time. Okay, I am really sorry.
remember, use the serum twice a day before the moisturizer, okay? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Merry Christmas. Hey. Oh, no, the audition. What happened? <sighs> the monologue was perfect. Mm -hmm. The song was even better. Mm -hmm. Then they said I wasn't tall enough. Oh. Can you believe it? It was a callback. They've already met me. <laughs> Have I shrunk since last week? Honey, next time heels, maybe? I am wearing heels. I'm going to be in the chorus forever. Don't think that way. It's gonna happen. You're way too talented. Santa's gonna deliver you a leading role this year. I can just feel it. I hope so. This Christmas is my five-year anniversary since moving here. And the only role I ever booked was that off, off, off Broadway production in the guy's basement. And the only people that showed up were his parents. I meant to come the second night. There was no second night. Merry Christmas. Hello. Hi. Ready to go? Yeah, I just have to close out real quick. How did dress shopping go? Oh, we couldn't agree on anything. She really liked this purple frilly thing. I said it looked like a grape tutu. She said, I'm too picky, so I said... See, this is why I stay single. It's just too much drama. But thank you for not picking out something hideous. You just haven't met the right guy yet. Let's go eat. I'm starving. Okay, yeah. Oh, no. Am I too late? Uh, yeah. Sorry, sir. We're closing. Even for Santa. Well, ho, ho, ho. Well, that's my line, isn't it? <laughs> I was wondering if either of you could help me. I was in here earlier, and I had a gift wrapped for my daughter. She needs it for school tomorrow. Uh, yeah, for sure. If you stop by tomorrow morning, we can definitely help you. When school's open, you're still closed. Oh, OK. Uh, yeah, no worries. I will look for it for you. It's Christmas. I can't say no to Santa. Do you have your receipt, Mr. Claus? Bit of a problem there. I can't find it. Did one of your reindeer eat it? Quite possibly. <laughs> Don't mind her. She's hungry. What's the gift? Oh, it was a paperweight that said world's best teacher. Yeah, I know the one. <sighs> I'm starving. I'm starving. Oh, I'm so hungry. We're going. We're going. Um, what's the wrapping paper? Polar bears. Uh, my daughter just loves polar bears. We have Christmas Starry Night. Mm, nope. Reindeer. I mean, this looks like the right size. Bears. What about cinnamon stick? Bears. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe it's in the back. Okay. <sighs> well, Mr. Kringle. <laughs> Call me Chris. <laughs> if we're stuck here on your account, what I'd really like for Christmas is a cashmere sweater. A blue convertible would be nice. And, oh, should I be sitting on your lap for this? No, it's not necessary. I've got to get this off. It's like a sauna here, melting. Oh, snowbells, snowbells. Snowbells, snowbells. Ringing the night away. Ringing the night away. Will you excuse me for a second? Thank you. Feel it as coming. Thank you so much for helping. This is uh what's your name? Uh, I'm Chloe. What about you? Jason. I'm Jason Murphy. Hi. Oh my gosh. What? It's you. What's me? The guy from the street, the one who ran into me, got me in trouble with my boss. Oh, that's you. Wow. I don't recognize you without the monster scarf wrapped around your Face, wow. You got in trouble for that. Yeah, I assured it. I'm sorry, you know. It's okay. <laughs> I was running late and, you know, Santa can't keep the kids waiting. So instead, you mowed down a lady holding a basket full of holiday cheer? It's naughty, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chloe, I'm gonna wait outside. I have to make a phone call. Please remember your bestie is starving. Okay, yeah, no, I promise. One minute. We'll find it. I'm gonna help. Okay. Okie dokie. So. Oh, hey, what's the teacher's name? Maybe it's written on the card. It might be. It was with a, you know what? 
Beasley. Miss Beasley. Miss yep. Beasley. Great. So how much trouble did you get into because of me? Well, to be fair, it's not all your fault. I was late, and I had an audition after. So. An audition? Huh. Mm-hmm. So you're an actor? I am, yeah, and a singer. Wow, that's, that's great. So where are you from? I'm from Detroit. I moved here five years ago to make it on Broadway, as one does. And here I am in New Jersey, in the gift shop. Five years, hey, it's nothing. Some people work half their life to make it, so, yeah. Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Christmas is saved. Look at that. Well, at least for my, for my daughter it is. Um, well, we should go. Christine yeah. is probably freaking out out there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I thought we'd still be here till New Year's. Have I seen you in anything? Uh, I've been in the chorus a few times. Uh-huh. And then I had one lead role in this off, off, off Broadway play called Basement Serenade, which the director staged in his mother's Staten Island basement. Somehow, I uh, must have missed that one, I'm sorry. But uh, I've heard you sing, you're incredibly talented. Oh, you're just saying that because you got me in trouble. No, I'm actually not, I'm giving you my uh, Professional opinion. <laughs> Wait, your professional opinion? Yeah. Are you in the business? Mm hmm. Director, producer? Jingle writer. Jingle writer? <laughs> yeah. Okay, interesting. So, jingle writer by day, Santa by night. Yeah, Santa's just always been a thing for me. I grew up in this neighborhood and loved going to visit Santa, and now it's my turn. It's a bit of a give back, but it also really gets me into the holiday spirit, so. Nice. Yeah. Well, it was really nice meeting you, Santa. Or Jason. What? <laughs> what? I, I, I would love to invite you to have coffee or something with me, just so I could, so I could make it up to you. Oh, um, yeah, uh, do, do you want to help me take this in? Yeah. Huh? Oh, hi. Um, I'm sorry. We're actually closed for the night. No, I'm not here to shop. I actually came here with a proposition. A proposition? Yes. I would love for you two to come to my office tomorrow. Both of you. Eight in the morning? Uh, 8 a.m. I, yeah, that's before the store opens, so I guess that works for me. Does that work for you? The timing works, but what, what, is this, what is this about? What's your name, young man? Jason. Jason Murphy. I'm Chloe. Chloe Bose. Jason and Chloe. Murphy and Bose. You make a beautiful couple. You have a nice rhythm together. That's wonderful. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. I think you'll be quite interested in what I have to say. Good night. Good night. Good night. Who was that? Cora Lawson. I feel like I should know her. Like, like she's, she's somebody. Jason, thank you so much for coming so early. <laughs> Hi. Oh, these are great. Look at all these great photographs. Look at that. Yeah. Is that? It's the barbershop. Is it? The, it's Jackson's barbershop. And, and is, that, is that the old five and dime? You grew up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Born and raised. That is wonderful. There's so much history in this neighborhood. Especially during the holidays, this place used to be pure magic. Used to be. 
It still is. This is going to be my fifth Christmas here, and it just never gets old. Yeah. Turning Main Street into Holiday Lane has been a tradition in this neighborhood for close to 100 years. There would be special events during the whole holiday season, but that stopped a few years ago when the crowds started getting smaller. Today, smaller still. Well, that's so sad. It's more than sad. It's hurting the community. The holidays used to bring everyone together here. Now a lot of the stores are struggling. I've already lost two of my best tenants this year. Tenants? I inherited a few of the buildings on Holiday Lane. My great-grandparents started the whole tradition of renaming the street for the season. So that's why I always see you around, but you never buy anything. Wait, do you own the gift shop? Only the building. But I like to keep an eye on things. I remember when all customers used to line up and down the sidewalks. We were a Christmas destination, which brings me to you two. Us. What? <laughs> what? I think you can help me bring that holiday magic back. Chloe, your voice is spectacular. Oh, thank you. It really is incredible. I but <laughs> what can I what can I do? A lot. Last night I checked out your website. If you need a spare. Oh, you out of there. Roll on to Mike's tire. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. You really went to my website. <clears throat> Wait, that's you? Yeah. I hear that on TV all the time. He's got the magic in him, too. Your jingles are fabulous. <gasps> okay. Thank you. Um... So, you want us to what? Bring the Christmas show back to Holiday Lane? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. And make it a big extravaganza, just like it used to be. Jason, maybe you can write an original song. Chloe, you, of course, will sing like the angel you are. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. Is there a problem? Uh, no, it's just, it's two weeks until Christmas, and I have a lot of auditions coming up, and my boss is already mad at me for skipping out on work and taking so much time off, so I just, I don't know how, how I can do it. Chloe, you're young and you're ambitious. That's not a crime. But if something changes, let me know. My door is always open. It's Christmas, it's my favorite time of year When the bells are ringing and people singing It fills my heart with cheer It's Christmas That's lovely <laughs> Here you are, Merry Christmas What happened? Did they think you were too short again? No. Too tall. Did they notice you were in heels? Yeah, it didn't matter. Your usual. Thank you. Cheer up. You just have to keep at it. All it takes is one audition, right? How many more do you have before Christmas? <sighs> three. That's three more chances for someone to notice how awesome you are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you mind if I sneak out the back? The back alley is way faster, and I am late, as usual. <laughs> Help yourself. Hey. Hi. Uh, Christine. Yeah, how can I help you? Does Anna need a facial? <laughs> Fake beards can be an irritant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I, um, actually just want to talk to you for a minute, if I can. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's about Chloe. Is this, uh, is this really necessary? My boss has to think you're a customer. That's the rules. Okay. Wow. 
Oh boy, what's that? Don't worry, I'm a professional. Ooh, it's cold. It's chilly. Here. You said you wanted to talk to me about Chloe? Yeah. Yes, I wanted to ask you. I mean, it's a bit awkward, but what's her what's her situation? As in, does she have a boyfriend? Yeah, that. First, let's talk about your situation. I understand you have a daughter. Oh, yes, I do. I have a daughter, yeah, and Angela, her mother. And I've been happily divorced for three years. She's got a new marriage and a new baby, and we get along really great. That was a good answer. <laughs> Is she single? Yes, but that doesn't necessarily mean she's single for you. What's wrong with me? I, I, do, you, do you not think she likes me? <laughs> not that. It's just Chloe is quite particular. Particular how? Particular in that I don't want anyone to hurt her the way the last guy did. And I'm not so sure someone with a kid is the right way to be jumping back into the dating pool. Okay, well, I'm particular too because, because I have a kid. I just can't be letting anyone into my life. Whoa, Chloe is not just anyone which is why I wanted to talk to you about this. Go on. Chloe told you about the Christmas show, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Well, I was hoping she would do it so we would get to know each other a little bit. It's a nice idea, friend, but I'm sad to say she doesn't really have the time. She's auditioning a lot. Broadway is her dream. She's just so talented, right? Mm -hmm. She just needs the right audience. <clears throat> Wait, wait, if she sings at the Christmas show, then she will have that audience, right? And she'll be a lead singer, which she really needs people to see her as. Hmm. And so many people who live around here actually work in the city. That's right. Yeah, someone with the right connections might notice how amazing she is. Plus, it'll give her some confidence. That's right. Right, yeah, we have to get her to do the show. Yes. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> people are signing up for this. Yeah. I told you, there's a lot of talented people in this community. There is. There yeah, is. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Hello, Chloe. We were hoping you would be here. You were. Listen, would you mind putting some of these up? I don't know if your boss would mind, but look at this. I'm sure she won't. I think she even secretly wants to be a part of the show. Seriously? <laughs> what, does, what does she do? I don't know. Is firing people a special talent? <laughs> Listen, I'm not sure that's the right kind of Christmas spirit, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, here, you take these. Thank, thank you so much for, for all your help. Yeah. Oh, so it's really coming together, huh? Yes. Everybody's very excited. That's wonderful. So why can't you be part of it, Chloe? Seriously. Well, I told you, I, I have auditions. I've been thinking. We can work around your schedule so you can do the show and get to your auditions, too. After all, hearing you sing is what inspired me to bring the show back in the first play. I so appreciate that, Miss Lawson. In case you haven't noticed, we would we'd really love to have you. Yes, we would. OK. I'll... I'll think about it. Yes! <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> oh, uh, Mrs. Berger, I'm sorry. They were just done. Miss Lawson. Yes. You're producing the Christmas show, isn't that right? Yes, I am. Well, I'll have you know that I took top dance lessons. Really? So you're spending Christmas Eve with Byron's family? Uh-huh. And Christmas Day with my folks. Looks like it's just going to be me and the tree then. Oh, hey, I totally forgot to ask. What do you want for Christmas this year? Peace and goodwill for humankind. And maybe some cute earrings. <laughs> you? I mean, I think you already know the answer to that. A lead role in a show. <laughs> this is my last chance. Are you moving to Mars and you forgot to tell me? No, not Mars. Detroit. What? 
I made a promise to myself that I wasn't going to spend forever chasing after something I would never get. So when I moved here, I gave myself five years, and those five years are up at the end of the month. But you could just... If these auditions don't pan out, it is back to Detroit and dental school, just like my dad predicted. Your dad the dentist? <laughs> He's always wanted me to take over his practice after he retires. You never told me any of this. This thing isn't working. Oh, here. Maybe this one's loose. Yeah, I guess I just didn't want to deal with it. But I don't know, maybe this is the universe's way of telling me it's time to give up. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're getting married in three months, and there is no way I can afford this place by myself. Oh, honey. Which is why I'm going to have to pour all of my energy into these auditions and blow them away. But he likes you. <laughs> what? Who? That guy. Jason? He came to the spa and he asked about you. And he's divorced. And he's nice. And I don't know if you noticed, but he's kind of gorgeous. <laughs> I've definitely noticed. Right? And I've thought about him too. <laughs> More than once. <laughs> but I don't know, starting something with a new guy when I might be leaving town for good? That is as simple as trying to get this tree to light up. If I get these lights to work, you have to have dinner with Jason. Uh, okay. You have yourself a deal. Flattering, so you're basically here because you lost a bet. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. It's just really, really bad timing. Is it my situation? Because my ex-wife, her husband, and the baby, they live a few blocks away. Angela bounces back and forth, and we all get along really well. Yeah, it sounds perfect yeah. for a kid. I just, okay, I, mean, I need to just say it. I don't want to make this weird, but... What? This isn't a date. No. This is not a date. And, that, and that's a good thing. I, I, I told Okay, good. No, we're, we're on the same, same page. Thing. Yeah, like I told your friend, I need to get to know somebody first and get to know them well before I let them into my life, especially meeting Angela. It's a big deal for me. So, no, not a date. Not a date. So, is this like a job interview? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Say no. No. Well, even if it were, I don't think I would get the job. Sure about that? The thing is, if I don't book one of these auditions, I'm moving back to Detroit after New Year's. And I just want to be straight with you. Okay, <clears throat> right? <laughs> well, let me be straight with you. I know this isn't a date, but... I like you. <laughs> I feel like I'm six, but I like... I feel like I'm six years old, too. <laughs> uh, because... I like you, too. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. No, <laughs> no, we're not. I just... I just told you. Just say yes. Do the show and go out with a bang. You can sing whatever song you want. I'll make sure of that. See, Cora's made me music director, so you can just choose. You are not what I expected. <laughs> I will think about it.
was beautiful. But unfortunately, we're really looking for someone just a little older. Well, at least they didn't say they wanted someone younger. No, they didn't. But at the other audition, on the other side of town, mind you, they did. Mm. How do you deal with this? Chocolate. <laughs> I'm gonna order another brownie. Do you want some? Oh, I've already got a sugar rush so strong, I'm not gonna be eating for a week. Yeah, I guess I should probably stop, too. A dentist shouldn't rat her own teeth. Are you okay? Yeah. It's just after today's two auditions, I have one last chance to make it. And if I don't, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be, that's, that has to be okay. It has to. Yeah. Don't give up yet, okay? Would you mind putting some of these up? Here you go. Thank you. Hi. Hello, Chloe. Christine, is it? Good memory. <laughs> I know your schedule is packed, but I desperately need a favor. If you're not too busy. Oh. No, I'm just busy drowning my sorrows in calories. Rough audition? Two, in fact. I'm, turns out I'm too old, too young, too tall, too short. That's not true. Well, you, you seem to be just right to me. No, well, I appreciate that. So yeah, what do you need done? I'd love for you to pick something up for me at this address. It's a little sensitive. Sensitive. I would go myself, but it's a walk up and my knees don't get along too well. With stairs these days, mm -mm, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I, I can totally go for you. You could, oh, thanks, Chloe. <laughs> of course. Oh, and what am I supposed to do with it when I get it? You'll know. Expecting you. Come in. Wow, do you live here or work here? Well, a little bit of both. This is my studio and it's it's also my home. Hey, it's our home. Oh, excuse me. Yes, it's our home. Turkey. <laughs> this is my daughter, Angela. This is my friend Chloe. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Angela. So, are you also a musician? Uh yeah, I guess you could say that. I sing, and I act, and I dance a little, too. Whoa, a real triple threat. Somebody knows their Broadway. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you? Do you want to sing when you're older? No, I think I'm going into law. I need a more stable lifestyle. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, that's me. Oh, it's your mom. She's downstairs. <laughs> Where are you going? Back here. Okay. Nice to meet you, Chloe. It's nice to meet you, too. I love you. I love you. <clears throat> okay, well, she is adorable. Yeah, she is. A bit of a handful at times, but in the best way. Uh, so, Miss Cora said that you have something for her? Oh. Is that how she put it? <laughs> <laughs> what? <clears throat> what is going on? Well, I wrote a song, and Cora thought that you might want to hear it. For the show? Yeah. But I'm not in the show. Oh, that's too bad, because 
I wrote it for you. <clears throat> so excuse us if our happiness shows we got the tingle from our head to our toes. The only definition is you know when you know Christmas feels like falling in love. Christmas feels like falling in love. Christmas feels like falling. So, what do you think? Well, I hate to say this, but. But, but, but. It's really really good really <laughs> you like it i do i love it good because it felt so good to write it to write something that's longer than 30 seconds <laughs> i mean you wrote a whole new christmas song you're like mariah carey yeah <laughs> i need a little more glitter for that but thank you <laughs> but um i mean not to be negative or anything we have a real problem oh okay what is it what is Give it to me. Out with it. I can handle it. Your song isn't exactly in my key. Oh. <laughs> that's that's easy. I just heard you singing in the shop and it took a wild guess. We could just transpose it. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> Wait a minute. You said we have a problem. Does that does that mean that you're doing the show? Does that you seriously? <laughs> really? How can, how can I say no now? I guess we're just gonna have to call Miss Cora Lawson and tell her that her genius plan worked. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. Are you sure you don't want one? <laughs> I I mean they look delicious. They are they are delicious. I'm good. Yeah? Yes. Okay, just one. Just one. Can I just say I'm obsessed with your song. It's like a real song. I I prefer to write. <laughs> a real song, but jingles, you know, jingles pay the bills. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> Why are you, you always like this? Are you always this happy? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Mm. But I'm extra happy because of you and your song. It's just making everything easier. Easier to, easier to do the show or? <laughs> No, easier to let go. Let go of what? The stress of trying to make it on Broadway. I've made up my mind and my little experiment is done. And honestly, I feel, I feel a relief. Do you really have to leave? Your whole life is here, everything is here. And well, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I know. Yeah, I think my time's up, but I'm going out with a great song in my heart. Your song. Amazing. Chloe, <laughs> decided to visit our show, folks? I decided to stay. I'm in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Somehow, I kind of knew. Because you made it happen. <laughs> so I guess you like Jason's song? I love his song. items for you? 
Great. Hey. Hi. Hey. Should get going. Rehearsal time. I don't think I can. Look at the line. Would you like these gift wrapped? Chloe. Hey. We need to rehearse. I know, but Jamal's out sick, and I can't leave Mrs. Berger with this Christmas rush. Okay. Thank you. Merry Christmas. All right. Next line, please. Wait. Wait, what are you doing? What? what? You don't think Santa knows how to wrap Christmas gifts? Hi. I thought you outsourced that work to the elves. Nope. You know, hands on St. Nick of all trades. <laughs> okay. Hired. Nice. Hi. Merry Christmas. Deck the halls with boughs of Chloe. Fa la 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 la. That's my name. <laughs> Tis the season. It gets snowy. Fa la 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 la. la, 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 la. Snow. Good one. Dawn, we now are present rapping. Fa la 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 la. Now rehearsal, no time for napping. Fa la 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 la. Here you go. Very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. That was fun. Yes, our last customer. Let's get to rehearsal. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hi. Mrs. Berger, what's going on? Chloe, can you do me a big favor? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, what, what's up? You know what? You can call me Greta. Can you finish closing up for me tonight? No. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. Uh, I have to be fast, though, because we have rehearsal. Oh, I know. Can I tell you a secret? Sure, Mrs. Uh, uh, Greta. Miss Lawson is letting me audition for the show late. I'm auditioning for Cora tonight, right before your rehearsal. Oh, okay, well then you better get step in. So, yeah, hit her batter. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Break leg. Uh, yeah. Have fun. Okay. Tap away. There was a time when Christmas was ours and the color lights would shimmer like the stars. Busy shoppers up and down the boulevard. Busy shoppers up and down the boulevard. Christmas feels like falling in love. Yeah, I remember how it felt to be young Magic in the air for Christmas fun Just like them butterflies when you meet the one Christmas feels like falling in love I don't know, I think, I think this might work better Just like them butterflies when you meet the one and Butterflies and then one oh, I like that I do. Just like them butterflies when you meet the one. Mm -hmm. It's weird. I I keep getting these incoming calls from an unknown number. It's probably spam. You just, <laughs> he's, he's, probably, he's probably taking it. Should I do it, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Could be important. Okay. Hello? Chloe? Uh, yeah, this is her. This is Cassandra Rogers. The Cassandra Rogers? Yeah. Okay, Christine, you really gotta get more original with your prank calls because there's no way that... One of the biggest producers on Broadway is calling me personally. I'm not sure who Christine is, but no, it's no joke. My assistant's off today, so I thought I'd call you personally. You auditioned for our casting director last week for We're Off Again, the musical? Uh, yeah, I did. But I was too short or too something. Well, I watched your audition video, and to me, you're too good to pass up. So I was hoping you could return for a second callback for me personally. Oh my gosh, of course. When? Oh, let me see. Uh, it will probably be after the holidays. Um, I'll get in touch as soon as I know when. Is this the best number to reach you? 
Uh, yes, yes it is. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye. <gasps> that looked amazing. What was that? <gasps> it looks like I may not have to do root canals after all. I gotta tell ya, it's not a fella that's got me all the glow this way. I wanna stop you there. Is there something wrong? I thought that, that sounded beautiful. Yeah, she, she sounded beautiful. But listen, singing doesn't just come from here. It comes from here. Oh, of course. Yeah, I really should be doing a song from my diaphragm. Yes. But more than that, from the heart. Understand? I think so. Let me show you. Most people sing this way, right? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. That was pretty, Miss Cora. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I'm very glad you liked it. But now listen when I sing it this way. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let her receive her king. Hear the difference? From the heart. Yeah, from the heart. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is that I think it's actually less about where it comes from and more about, for sure, where it's going. One of my best teachers always said that good singers perform for the audience, and it's true. Great singers perform for something greater than us all. They send the song through the audience on its way up. Make you think? Let every heart, let every heart prepare him room. Prepare him room. Then it gets everybody stirred up. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And <laughs> That's stage right, and we call the offstage area the wings. Why? Well, because in the old days, they'd store big pieces of scenery there called wing flats. Crazy. For being a real estate mogul, she sure knows a lot about the theater. Yeah, our Miss Cora is quite the mystery, isn't she? She is. It's wild to think. We are going to be up there tomorrow night. Us. The real audience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So speaking of, uh, of us, I... Mm-hmm. Tell me. Okay. What? Uh, so, t so tomorrow, Angela's gonna be at her mom's in the morning. And I was wondering if maybe, you know, tomorrow night you wanted to have uh, a dinner. Um, oh. With me. If, you're, if you have time, like to celebrate, you know, your audition and. Like an actual date? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> it could be. I really like the sound of that, and I really like you. I just don't know, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm gonna get the part, and I just, I also don't know what that means for my life and us, and so I think it might be best that we don't start anything at this time, especially with, 
Yeah, right, of course, with Angela in the picture, and yeah, no, you're right, the timing is, uh, the timing is off, man. You turned him down? Why on earth would you turn a man like that down? You know you like him. He's everything I would ever want in a guy. So then why not go out with him? Because it's just a callback. I don't have part yet, and I'm most likely moving back to Detroit. Ah, uh ah, -uh -uh. Nope. I forbid it. <laughs> OK, let's say I do get the part. Then what? I am a lead in my first Broadway production, and I'm going to be way too busy for a relationship, and it's a huge responsibility. Or maybe you're just afraid to get your heart broken again. Yeah, maybe you're right. I gotta tell you, it's not a fella that's got me all the this way. In fact, the reason is simply tis the season Jingle bells and silent nights For caroling and color lights And everything will be all right If we sneak a peek at Santa in his In his sleigh tonight Yes, yes, I love that. Do you like it? Yes. Oh, hey, hi. What's, what's up, Jelly Bean? Well, Mom texted. She can't come get me. She has to work late. She's a doctor. Oh, no. What is it? I gotta find a babysitter. I have an appointment with an ad agency at noon. They heard my stuff, though, and they, they might want me to write a, a jingle for a car company. Oh, my gosh. That's big, right? Yeah. I've never done a national campaign before, and I mean, this could be a game changer. The only problem is, it's in two hours from now, and there's no babysitters that, that are in town. Everyone's out for the holidays. Dad, I don't really need a babysitter. OK, as much as I respect your opinion, I and the state of New Jersey beg to differ. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's someone. This last minute, it's not looking so good. I could watch her. Really? I, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Slow down, Jelly Bean. I, uh... Did you have to work? No, I'm closing tonight. Right, but it's Christmas, right? You gotta wrap presents or go shopping. <laughs> well, Christine and I were actually supposed to have lunch, and then there was some spa treatment emergency, so I have a few hours. Yes. Any chance you guys have a cookie cutter someplace? My dad's not exactly what you'd call a baker. <laughs> Me neither, but this is really simple. Yeah, but once I had to explain the toaster. Let's just say all the gourmet meals are at my mom's place. Okay, so what do you think? Christmas balls? Two sizes? Perfect. So, your dad doesn't like cooking. What does he like? Um, well, I think he likes you. <laughs> What's that? I said he likes you. Me? Oh, well. I like him, too. I know you like him, but do you like him like him? <laughs> uh, it's a little complicated. Oh. Is it because of me? What? No. No, not at all. The thing is, is I might be moving back home to where I grew up. Where's that? Detroit. Well... I hope you don't have to go. Me too. But hey, if I do, we can still be friends, OK? <laughs> Great. And you and my dad get to be in the show together tomorrow night. Best Christmas ever. Oh, I bet that's my dad checking in. <laughs> He's so cute. So 
such a beautiful night though for this. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, hey. Merry Christmas. Good to see you. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> oh, I bought that one for Byron's dad. What do you think? Is it too much for a future father-in-law? Oh, the, the sweater. Oh, yeah. What I do mean, you think? Byron, he's going to love it. Good to know, since I bought it for his dad. <laughs> What's going on with you? Sorry, I'm just, I'm waiting for, for this call right here. Hello? Uh, yeah, this is her speaking. Oh, it's the only time they can see me, okay? No, 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 it's, it's good. Yeah, no, honestly, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Oh, you too. <laughs> oh, hey. Hi. Hi. Santa's going incognito in Santa's village. Shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> We're just doing some last minute shopping, and I'm actually really glad that we ran into you. We got some news. Great news, actually. Really, what's the great news? Do you remember that prospective client that I met with? Uh huh. Well, he's coming here tomorrow night. No. Yes, yes, what? yes, yes. To our show to listen to the song I wrote, and with your incredible voice bringing it to life, it's 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 unbelievable. Oh yeah, I mean your song is great, even without my voice on it, it's perfect. Yeah, no, with your voice, I can't miss. I mean, he's practically gonna hire me on the spot. <laughs> Who knew this little neighborhood show of ours could be literally life changing? Yeah, so much life changing going on. Yeah. Anywho, I gotta get this one to our moms, and we'll see you at rehearsal. Okay. Bye. 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 See ya. <laughs> okay, you're gonna tell me everything now, and it's gonna happen over some hot chocolate. Let's go. Wait, so what? I thought the audition wasn't supposed to be until after the holidays. Me too. This should be the best moment of my life. This is Cassandra Rogers. And it's a lead. A lead that's me. Yeah, so can't she see you earlier tomorrow? Or later? Or now? <laughs> I tried. Cassandra's in meetings all day, and literally the only time she can see me is before she goes to the airport. Airport. She's headed back to LA, and she's there through January for another project. So it is literally tomorrow or nothing. Right when you're supposed to dazzle Jason's big client with your incredible voice. And give Angela the best Christmas of her life. And bring back a cherished holiday lane tradition. <laughs> and... Okay, now you're being a little melodramatic. It's not like this Christmas show is gonna bring world peace. Besides, everyone will understand. This is the big break you've been waiting five years for. That's an easy decision. Excuse me? Are you the girl with the lovely voice? The one who's singing in the Holiday Lane Christmas show tomorrow? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. Oh. I'm Chloe. Well, I'm Diana, and this is my husband, Levi. Chloe, I have to tell you that sometimes I go into the gift shop just to hear you sing. We're really looking forward to the show tomorrow night. Thank you. And it's wonderful how you're bringing the old tradition back. It's, it's been a tough couple of years, and you're really warming our hearts. Wow, that's so nice. We'll see you at the show tomorrow night. It was wonderful to meet you. You too. Nice meeting you. Okay. So maybe not the easiest decision ever. Jason. Yeah. Is Chloe here yet? I saw her earlier, but no. She should be. Oh, good. Chloe, you're here. Now we can get started. Wait, wait. I'm sensing a problem. You okay? What is it? Uh... Oh, this is so hard. You remember that callback that I have after the holidays? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, it's actually tomorrow at 5. Hmm. 
Oh, so you, so you won't be able to get back in time here for the show? I tried everything, and literally the only time she can meet with me is five, so. Wow, that is such a bummer. But, it's, yeah, it's fine. Well, Jason, your song is strong enough without me. You don't need my voice. <laughs> but will you please tell Angela I'll make it up to her? Yeah, she'll get this. She'll get it. This is, uh, this is your shot. And you've got to take it. This is great. Well, maybe I don't. I feel so bad. And maybe it's just another audition, right? Mm, this is a callback. A second call back. That means they're already interested in you. Yeah, but I've had a lot of callbacks before. But this is for Cassandra Rogers. I have a very good feeling about this. You do? How can you be so sure? Because I'm not, and I don't... Chloe, I've made a decision. I can't let you be in the show. You're not gonna let me? No. I'm no Cassandra Rogers, but I am the producer of this show. And the producer is in charge. So, honey, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's the boss, so. You leave all your guilt right here with us. You hear me? You go. And you knock them dead. Honestly, thank you, both of you, for being so good about this. It's making it a lot easier, really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, break a leg. Okay. <laughs> working? Isn't that big audition today? I'm opening the gift shop, but I will be able to get out of there in time because everything is shutting down early today. For the show? Yeah. Come on. Don't worry about it. I'm just really sad because I really wanted to do it. That whole atmosphere was so positive and so loving and so... Christmas. I had never experienced anything like that in my entire life. Well, I mean, you can still do the show next year, as long as you're able to clear your schedule, Miss Future Broadway star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess... I guess what I'm really worried about is Jason. He seemed really upset when I told him that I was leaving. I'm sure he'll be fine. If the song is as good as you say it is, he'll get that big client. For now, you just have to focus on yourself, right? Right. <laughs> Love you. Love you, too. <laughs> okay, I'm late. Yeah, go on. <laughs> per usual. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey. Hey. We're gonna stop bumping into each other like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm late. Again. Yeah, I'm just uh, looking for Cora. We got some rehearsing to do this this morning. I have to teach her your song. So, um, catch you later. Wait, are we, um, are we good? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Why wouldn't we be? Because of the Christmas show? I couldn't say no. No, 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 no. I don't care about the show. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. You deserve this. This is Cassandra Rogers. This, it's a big deal. I mean, right? This is this is your time. You've been working for this, so it's this, it's a good thing. Yeah, no, I, it is. A, it's an amazing thing. Yeah. Well, I will be there to celebrate with you guys after. Yeah, I don't... I don't think that's the best idea. 
What? To stop by. Why? I think it might be a little hard. For Angela. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? I'm so confused. What? Well, I mean, I think she's starting to get a little bit attached to you, so it's going to be really hard on her when she doesn't get to see you uh, anymore. So Not be able to see me? What are you talking about? Because once you get this part, you're going to be in a completely different universe. You, one that doesn't include Angela or me. I don't even have the part yet. Yeah, but if it's not this part, it'll be another part. I mean, you are so talented. It's just a matter of time before the world gets to see this. Chloe! Chloe, I could really use some help in here. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. Can we please talk about the cider? Yeah, sure, sure. Not tonight, though. You uh, focus on your audition. You too. I am a new woman. Sales are up. The show is going to be so fun, even though my feet are already killing me. It has been a wonderful holiday season. Thanks to you, Chloe. Well, you have Miss Cora to thank for that. Well, she said that you inspired her. She said that? Mm-hmm. I wish there was a way I could still do the Christmas show. You have bigger fish to fry. You go, and you get that part. Thanks. No, no, I will finish this up. You go, I don't want you to miss the bus to the city. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. about tonight? I'm not nervous. I'm petrified. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll do great. Good. Perfect. Looks great. Let's get inside. idea. No, I'm just, I'm just here for the callback, and then I'll be on my way. Okay, good. Bye. Okay, folks, this is it. We're gonna go out there tonight and you are all going to kill it. And can I just say, wow, wow, you look amazing. How about me? Woo, Miss Cora. You look completely ravishing. Oh, where's Angela? Come with me, I'll show you. She's seated with her mom right there. Oh, yeah. great. Oh, wait. That's him. He came. The man from the ad agency, he's here. Well, really? Well, we better get this thing right. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. We are privileged 
to bring to you tonight the return of the Holiday Lane Christmas Concert. <laughs> You're going to see some wonderful local talent tonight, and I guarantee to get you into the Christmas spirit. But that's enough talking for me. Let's make some music. How about that? Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. The shepherds kept their watching or silent fox by night. Behold, throughout the heavens, there shone a holy light. So go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, so much for being a terrific audience. Wasn't it great to have this show back again? Fun time! <laughs> well, sadly, it's time to wrap things up, but our last number is a very special one featuring a wonderful brand new Christmas song written by our own Jason Murphy. <laughs> there was a time when Christmas was ours and the colored lights would shimmer like stars. Busy shoppers up and down Christmas felt like falling in love. Yeah, I remember how it felt to be young. Magic in the air for Christmas fun. Just like them butterflies when you meet the one. Christmas feels like falling in love. I gotta tell you, it's not just a thing. Jingle bells and silent nights For caroling and colored lights And everything will be alright If we sneak a peek at Santa in his sleigh tonight So forgive me for this Christmas cliche But this time of year makes me act this way A fuzzy feeling that just won't go away Christmas feels like falling in love Gotta tell ya, it's not a fella that got me all in clothes this way. In fact, the reason is simply tis the season. Jingle bells and silent nights, 
caroling in color lights And everything will be alright If you meet me underneath the mistletoe tonight So excuse us if our happiness shows We got the tingles from our head to our toes The only definition is you know when you know Christmas feels like falling in love Christmas feels like falling in love Christmas feels like falling in love <laughs> It was close. Did you like the show? I loved it. Angela? Oh, sorry. My mom needs me. Oh, of course. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Bye. So, just got the job. He's hiring me. Really? <laughs> yes. <gasps> That's fantastic. Wait, how are you here? How'd your audition go? Uh, it didn't. Oh, you didn't make it? No, I, I did. I got to the city, I showed up, and then I started thinking about this thing that I've wanted more than anything in my life. And I imagined what it would feel like if I was to get it and not have you there to share it with. So I left. I left. I know you told me not to come here and see Angela tonight, but I needed to show you. Show me what? How much you mean to me? I hate to interrupt, Chloe. Edgar was holding your phone for you off stage. Uh, no, no, yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> he said texts keep coming in. He thought maybe it was something important. Uh, yeah, ex excuse me one sec. Hello? Miss Rogers? Chloe, thank goodness. I'm just about to leave for the airport. Listen, I am... I, I need to apologize. I am so sorry that I didn't make it today. I had this other commitment. No, I should be the one to apologize. It was unfair what we did to you at the last minute, especially during the holidays. Listen, I just need to know, are you still available to do the show? Uh, y yes, of course. But don't you need to see me in person first? No, actually, I think I've seen enough. I watched your audition piece again, and my assistant found a video of you online. You were singing a Christmas song I never heard. An original, maybe? Christmas feels like falling in love. Great song. Uh, thank you. I'm actually standing next to the guy who wrote it. Well, tell him to call me. I might want to hire him, too. So, anyway. You got the job, so consider yourself cast. Rehearsals start in March. <sighs> oh, my gosh. This is so exciting. But are you, are you sure about this? Like, is this not the biggest risk? Chloe, I have been doing this for a long time. I know true talent when I see it. When you sing, I see your soul shine through. It's a rare gift and it needs to be shared. And when Cora Lawson says you're good, then Chloe Bowes, you are good. Cora Lawson? I have to go. I'll get in touch with you soon. Merry Christmas, Chloe. Okay. Merry Christmas. Thank you to you, too. Thank you so much. I got the part. What? I got the part. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. That's wonderful. This is unbelievable. Is it, though? I heard Cassie ratted me out. How do you guys know each other? <laughs> when I was your age, I got a second call back, too. And I got the job, just like you. It was the first show Cassandra Rogers ever produced. <gasps> Come on, you did, you did Broadway, and you just forgot to tell yeah. us about this? <laughs> I don't like to talk about all that. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Well, so are there other things that we should have seen you in? 
Martha only did the one show. It was a big hit, but suddenly I found out I was pregnant. And I did not want to raise my baby from the stage. But when I heard you sing a few weeks ago, it was a blessing. You woke me up to try and bring some of the magic back to this neighborhood. Miss Cora. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, okay, wow. And speaking of wow, do you happen to know how a video of you and I singing your song ended up online? Yeah. Angela was filming us when we were singing, and then she posted it, and I completely forgot about it. <laughs> well, thanks to your genius daughter, Cassandra Rogers heard it. Come on. And loves it. Really? Ed wants you to call her. <laughs> what, me? Yeah. <sighs> but about the role, I stand by what I just said. I, I don't want it to come between us. I, I don't want it to be... It won't. No. What you did tonight, for me, for us. No, I saw who you really are. You're your word. You follow your heart. I want to see your star shine the brightest of all. And I would be honored to be the man that stands right next to you. When I met you, you made the whole world stop. I'm gonna love you, and I won't stop. <laughs>